Hi, so after learning how to create a Rails model and how to use migration to generate the corresponding database table, we will learn in this tutorial section how to make association between models. So for this purpose, Rails provides us with many types of association. In fact, there are six type, types of uh, Rails association. So uh, the first one is the belongs to association so as you can see in this example here a developer belongs to a team so the team id the primary key of the team model will migrate to the developer the table and it will be there a foreign key so the uh, belongs to association sets up a one-to-one -one connection with another model such that each instance of the declaring model belongs to, on a, to an instance of the other model so I think that now I'm going to, to, um, to make a little example of this type of association uh, on a real Rails application so I have already prepared my application so we have two models developer and team so a developer belongs to a team so here inside my developer model let me just zoom in a little bit so here I'm going to type belongs to and column and here I'm going to, to write the name of the models of the other side as you can see here uh, team is in singular form because a developer belongs to only one team if I write here s it will be it will generate an exception because a developer cannot belong to multiple teams it can only belong to one team so um, if you use uh, this type of association make sure to put the other side of your association here in singular form so I have to remove the S here at the end of the word so after that I, I have already uh, uh, made uh, a migration so DB migrate so I have a migration here I have added the a foreign key to the um, to the uh, developer uh, model so we will have a column in our developer table that reference to the team ID so now after declaring our association we will uh, test our association so let's open up a Rails console that means in, inside your uh, terminal just tape rails C and uh, the rails console will be launched and then and now we are going to uh, create objects of um, a few objects of our model so the first thing we are going to create a team one object so a team object so team dot new so team now, now I'm going to specify the name of my uh, first object team object so team one dot dot name so team one dot name will be um, um, I don't know how what to call it so I'm just gonna call it uh, Iro team so Iro so um I think I made a mistake here so team name so the attribute name is team name so sorry so team name so team one dot team name so that's correct so now I'm going to save my object to my database so team one dot save so my object was saved to my database and then I'm going to make a developer object so 
developer.new so the e here is in lowercase so dev1 dev, okay so dev1 dot that name is equal for example to uh, jack and then dev1 and here I'm going to uh, specify the to, uh, the, um, the ID of the team uh, uh, to uh, to which my this developer belongs so dev1 that team ID because as if you can notice here the uh, developer uh, object have the ID uh, column which is auto generated the name attribute created at which is the timestamp attribute and this is the uh, column of the uh, foreign key that comes from the uh, primary key of the team uh, <coughs> model so now I'm going to specify the ID of, of the, the team that dev1 belongs to so team and one because we have we have only one uh, team here which is uh, the uh, IRO team which has the ID of one so dev1 that team ID will receive will have one so let's save our object here dev1 that save so the transaction was successfully made so now if I type dev1 dot sorry dot um, team in singular form as you can see here it returns the object of the it returns this team here which is team uh, blast which has an ID of one and uh, it was created at blah 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 so um, I think that's all for this uh, video today um, let me just recapitulate what, uh, what we have done till now I showed you how to set up the belongs to association between two models in the next video I will show you the second type of association in rails and um, <coughs> and maybe uh, after that we will jump to the second layer of the MVC uh, pattern which is the controller layer and uh, we will dive into more advanced things so I hope you uh, have learned something from this video and see you in the next tutorial bye bye